So I recently had a question, should I work out when I'm fasting? So let's talk about that. So many people have this idea they have to eat before the exercise to get energy uh, for whatever reason. So let's first talk about the three or four variables to exercise. You have the type of exercise, you have the intensity of the exercise, how hard did you go, and then the duration, how long you go, and then you have the recovery. So the purpose of exercise is to make you more fit, to increase the health of the system, to build more capacity, more fitness, um, to actually have less stress. There's many uh, benefits of exercise, but those are some of them. So what you're doing is you're stressing your body, and then your body's going to adapt to that and prove various things. You have to be careful not to overtrain because overtraining will inhibit your sleep, keep your inflammation up, and reduce your gains. So it's always kind of a, an adjustment of figuring out what your optimum amount of intensity, duration, and recovery is. If you overtrain and let's say you only give yourself a few hours to recover, you know, you're not going to actually see any change. Now, in the recovery mode, this is when all the good things happen. Glycogen uh, reserve replenishment, new capillaries are, are grown, new mitochondria, cell structures are repaired, enzymes are restored. Enzymes are the things that actually do all the work in the body. Lactic acid is cleared. If you have too much lactic acid in your body, um, that your body can't burn up, because uh, it can use this as fuel. It can create a condition called lactic acidosis, which can cause um, restless leg syndrome, difficulty breathing, and a whole series of other symptoms. I have videos on that. Also, you have the endocrine system involved where you have a, a really good spike of growth hormone, which is involved in improving not just muscle growth, but the growth of other proteins and also repair in general of proteins. And another hormone that is increased is called glucagon which is basically a hormone that helps you burn more fat. Now the problem is when you consume food before you work out or you do carbo loading, which I'm very much against, you decrease the amount of growth hormone that you can pr produce. You potentially can increase um, too much lactic acid in the body because glucose turns into lactic acid and you actually greatly diminish the ability to burn fat because when you're actually eating, the body is going to be burning up those dietary calories and not your own calories. Now, when you fast, you get this massive additional increase of growth hormone. Now think about it. Exercise triggers growth hormone and fasting increases growth hormone. So when you combine them, you get a huge effect of growth hormone. And what's really cool about fasting is you get amazing reparative actions. You have this huge spike in repair in general. So it's going to actually come in handy when, when your, your body's trying to repair from the stress. So the body can actually get new capillaries, mitochondria, uh, repair the cell structures more efficiently. When you work out during a fasting mode, you can enhance fat burning by 20 to 30% more. And also you improve insulin resistance. Now, a reason why certain people consume carbs before workout is they're trying to enhance the spike of insulin to build more muscle mass. But here's the problem. It also at the same time creates insulin resistance because the body does not like too many carbs. So the more insulin resistance you have, the less you're going to absorb as far as amino acids and proteins, uh, nutrition. But by doing fasting, you develop a much uh, more sensitivity for insulin in general and the insulin works a lot better. So you can actually pull in more amino acids and more nutrients. I uh, had one guy who was working out, he wanted to gain more muscle mass, and he was consuming a certain amount of calories, a lot of carbs. Uh, he went on keto intermittent fasting. He lost weight. He wanted to then gain more weight. But this time, when he did it healthily, and he brought his carbs up to about 50 to 60 grams per day, so he kind of maxed them out and still being on keto, he started to develop more muscle growth because of this one fact that he improved insulin resistance. When before he was doing a certain amount of calorie uh, amount, he, was, he wasn't able to absorb the nutrients and protein. Now, with the same amount of calories, dif different foods, not having insulin resistance, he was able to start absorbing these uh, nutrients. And that's what created more muscle mass. Now, as far as the type of exercise, this really depends on your recovery. So if your recovery is poor, you do aerobic exercise, low intensity, 
walking, um, something real light, and then you build up to more anabolic, which is more like high uh, intensity interval training would be very good. Compound resistance exercise using as many uh, muscles as possible when you're working out, high intensity, that would be very beneficial to maximize your growth hormone. So in summary, absolutely yes, you want to strive to exercise when you're fasting because there are so many benefits, mainly for the reparative actions. Thanks for watching. Before you go real quick, I have a course entitled How to Bulletproof Your Immune System. It's a free course. I want you to take it. And here's why. Here's you, here is your environment. Everyone is focused on this over here, avoiding your environment. But what about here? What about strengthening your immune system? That's what's missing. This course will show you how to bulletproof yourself. And so you can tolerate and resist your environment much better by strengthening your own immune system. I put a link down in the description right down below. Check it out and get signed up today. Hey, before